Do you think you've ever encountered a time traveler? Well, that's apparently what happened to Jose Maciel. His route home through the Nevada desert takes him through a small, sleepy town. The kind with one blinking red light and a couple of central buildings. Usually, he breezes right through without a second thought. But today was different. As he approached the light, he noticed a figure briskly strolling along. And this isn't the type of town where you usually see people just taking a twilight stroll. So he pulls up and is surprised to see this very elderly looking woman in what he describes as a Rosie the Riveter costume. She has work overalls, a plaid shirt, perfectly pink curled hair, covered by a bandana, and a vintage work lunchbox in hand. Just scooting along in the middle of the desert like it's just another day, he shifts the car into park and calls out to the old woman, who responds with a confused, surprised look, but it turned into a smile and a wave. He asked if everything was okay or if she needed a ride. She said she had just finished work and missed the bus back to town and would love a ride. He was surprised she was still working at her age and how energetic and lively this old woman was because she appeared to be in her late 80s, but she was moving quickly and very alert, not something you would expect from someone her age. It was more like the energy and movement of someone in their 20s. It was just a little odd, but he wrote it off as her just being really healthy and he didn't want to be known as the guy who leaves the old lady in the desert. So they saddled up and got on their way. Then things just got weirder from there. Jose noted that the frail old woman who would be 100 pounds soaking wet caused the passenger side of the car to noticeably sink. So much so the car rode a little lopsided. And if she actually weighed that much, she wouldn't be able to move as quickly as she was. It was almost like gravity was turned up specifically on her. She told him that the town she was going to was about eight miles away, but that confused him because he knew the next town was over an hour and a half away. He concluded she might be a little confused or lost and didn't want to push the issue much further. By this time, the sun had set and they had started moving and the car was quiet. So he went to go turn on the radio, but all he could get was this really weird channel that kept talking about a deep sea war, something that he had never heard about. And then before he could think too much about it, the old lady pointed out the front window and said, that's my stop. She was pointing at a 60s drive in diner, one he had never seen before on any of his drives home. And he takes this same route every day. It had just popped up out of thin air in the middle of the desert. Completely creeped out, he pulled over and let the old lady out. But before she left, she gave him a piece of candy as a thank you. Then he quickly shoved it in his pocket and just took off for home. His drive that usually takes an hour and a half took an extra two hours. Where'd that time come from? What did Jose experience? And now home and playing the whole thing over and over again in his head, he stuck his hand in his pocket to find the candy that she gave him. And this was the only evidence that he has of that this whole thing happened. Some think it was some sort of time anomaly where different realities converge into one spot, creating something equivalent to a reality bending collage. This could explain the sudden appearance of the diner and maybe why the old lady was acting the way she was. What if she was a young woman and she just appeared old and the car radio was possibly picking up the news from a different timeline about an underwater war being fought under a sea of a world he would never know. But what do you think happened? Thank you so much for watching this whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, if you had any fun, if you got some enjoyment out of it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out and it helps show my content to more people. If you wanna follow me on other channels to support me, I have TikTok and Instagram, and I also have a Ko-Fi if you're able to monetarily support me. And it really helps me make more content for you. And I hope you have a good day and I'm gonna bring you more spooky content soon. Thank you so much.